Hello, I'm Vinita, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how you can access your Amazon S3 bucket over AWS Direct Connect. Let's get started. Before, it was not possible to directly access an S3 bucket through a private virtual interface using Direct Connect. However, with the AWS private link, you can now access Amazon S3 using Direct Connect over private or transit WIF. Today, I'll be showing you both the ways on how to access S3 bucket, one using private WIF and the other using public WIF. Let's log into the AWS management console first. For the first scenario, I have already created a private WIF in my account for this test and will walk you through the steps to configure and verify access to S3 bucket via Direct Connect. After you create your private WIF, first we'll verify that routing is set up correctly. For that, we need to make sure that the virtual private gateway associated with the private WIF is attached to the correct VPC in AWS. Let's see how we can do that. Navigate to Direct Connect console, go to services, type Direct Connect in the search bar, and select Direct Connect. In the navigation pane, choose Virtual Interfaces. In the content pane, I have selected my private virtual interface, which I'll be using for this test. Click on ID, which will take us to the summary page of this private WIF. Note and copy the virtual gateway value. Now navigate to the VPC console. Go to Services, type VPC. In the navigation pane, under Virtual Private Network, select Virtual Private Gateways. In the Content pane, select the Virtual Private Gateway that we have noted before. Choose the Details view. Note the VPC ID value. If there isn't a VPC listed, for Actions, choose Attach to VPC and then select the VPC you want to attach to your Virtual Private Gateway. In this case, I already have the VPC attached to the gateway, so let's move forward. Once the virtual private gateway is attached to the desired VPC and BGP is established, next we will verify that the routes received and advertised over the virtual interface are correct. Let me walk you through the steps to verify the routes. In my lab setup, I'm using a Cisco router in my on-prem network where the private WIF is terminating via BGP. First, we need to make sure that we are advertising routes to AWS that cover on-prem networks that will communicate with my VPC over BGP. We can use the following command on screen on the Cisco router where x.x.x.x .x 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 is the IP address of the remote BGP pair to verify the networks we are advertising. Next step is to make sure that we are receiving the VPC CIDR routes from AWS. We can use the following command on screen to verify the same. The final step is to make sure that the on-prem routes received via BGP are propagated to the VPC route tables. In order to achieve that, we need to verify that we have enabled route propagation in our subnet route tables. This will propagate the routes learned through Direct Connect virtual interfaces to our VPC route tables and any changes to the routes will be updated dynamically and you don't need to manually enter or update routes. The next step would be to see if I can ping and do a trace route in the instance IP. Interface endpoints in VPC can route both in-VPC applications and on-premises applications to Amazon S3 over the Amazon network. Once we have verified the routes, now let's configure interface endpoint for S3. I have already created an interface endpoint for S3. Let me walk you through the steps to create the endpoint. Navigate to the VPC console. Go to Services, type VPC. In the Navigation pane, select Endpoints. Click Create Endpoint. Provide the name of the AWS service, here S3, to which you are connecting. And choose the VPC in which you want to create the interface endpoint. Next, choose the subnets and security groups in your VPC to use the interface endpoint. Please note that Amazon S3 interface endpoints do not support the private DNS feature of interface endpoints. After you create the interface endpoint, it's available to use when it's accepted by the service provider. 
so the traffic flow will now be as follows aws direct connect to interface endpoint to aws private link to amazon s3 the final step is to verify the connectivity to the s3 endpoint where security groups network acls and on premises security should allow icmp for the bidirectional connectivity tests using ping for the second scenario i have already created a public vif in my account for this test and will walk you through the steps to configure and verify access to s3 bucket via direct connect after you configure your router the status of your virtual interface goes to up once we have established virtual interface to the aws cloud we can verify your virtual interface connections to the aws cloud by running trace route and verifying that the aws direct connect identifier is in the network trace first we will verify that the routes received and advertised over the virtual interface are correct let me walk you through the steps to verify the routes in my lab setup I am using a Cisco router in my on-prem network where the public WIF is terminating via BGP. First, we need to make sure that we are advertising routes to AWS that cover my on-prem networks that will communicate over BGP. We can use the following commands on the Cisco router where x.x.x.x is the IP address of the remote BGP pair to verify the networks we are advertising. After the BGP is up and established, the Direct Connect router should advertise all global public IP prefixes including Amazon S3 prefixes. Traffic heading to Amazon S3 is routed through the Direct Connect public virtual interface through a private network connection between AWS and your data center or the corporate network. We can verify this by performing trace route as follows. As you can see, the traffic is now flowing over public virtual interface where 52.95.44.24 is IP of BGP peer configured on Cisco router at on-premise and 52.95.44.25 is configured over AWS Direct Connect router where this public virtual interface is terminating at the AWS end. And the final step is to verify the connectivity using the ping utility to S3 as seen in the screen. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.